Hey everybody, this is gonna be my easy go um, golf cart build, 36 to 48 volt conversion, take two, it's gonna be part two. Just letting you see a little bit where I brought this thing. Uh, it has got the uh, six inch lift that we installed, it's in part one, and I, I put the heavy duty springs on it, the four leaf heavy duty off Amazon. Uh, because my bushings was out of it when I went to put the rear lift, my bushings were gone and uh, they were just, they were sagging. The springs were sagging. So I just went ahead and ordered new ones off Amazon. I think they were 80 bucks, $85 for the bushings and the four leaf heavy duty springs. So not bad at all. Got all that installed and um, that actually give me on level ground. I've actually got about uh, 15 inches of ground clearance. So now obviously not with under the chunk, but just under the body. Uh, so, but what I, I want to tell you about what this thing come up, um, this right here, as usual, you can't tell how steep something is, but uh, this is going to check my water box. And this is nearly, uh, it's nearly 100% grade. This is actually, uh, it's about 40, I would say it's every bit of 40 degrees. So it's probably in, in the neighborhood of 90 to 95% uh, grade. Uh, it's so steep that I've had tons of rangers, tons of two-wheel drive, four-wheelers and stuff in the past. Nothing will make it up this trail in two-wheel drive unless you're just like in a race and you hammer it from the bottom and it let it spin all the way up through here. It will come up through here usually in two-wheel drive, whether it's a ranger or a utility ATV or anything like that. Of course, that's positive traction in the rear but if you're trying to crawl up through here i have never made it up through here with anything in two-wheel drive um, a ranger utv atv uh it doesn't matter if you try to crawl up here this is just about 80 feet from here up to where the cart's at now and it's about probably i would guesstimate probably 70 feet higher than the road level is from where i'm at right now so um that will give you an indication uh you know of how steep it is uh super steep but this little thing came up this and now it wasn't without a struggle because it was spinning like crazy but it was so steep that the front tires and we got this steepest part right here i don't know if it'll show up on camera but you can see with all the heavy leaves it has spun the dirt um all the way up through here i got right here and i spun out and it caught traction while I was spinning and the front end of this thing came up about two to two and a half feet off the ground. And I thought I was flipping this thing. Um, I about pooped myself. And I was like Jerry Clower. I almost left it with him. It was, I mean, it was, it was pretty scary. Uh, but the front end came back down and I tried it two or three more times. And a couple more times, the front end just came way up off the ground. And, uh, but it did make it on up and, uh, went up to the water tank and, and all of that stuff. And it, I'm just so amazed at how this little thing goes with a stock two horsepower motor with that controller. The torque is unreal how that thing will go. Uh, the, you see the tires that I got put on there. They are, they're Wanda's. Um, they are the, uh, what are they called? They're knockoffs. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. They're the uh, knockoffs of the, the big block or whatever they call those things. I can't really remember right now. But these, I got the tires for 200 bucks, all four of them. They're 23 by 7 by 10s. I kept my stock wheels that I had on the cart when I got it. But 23 by 7 by 10s and uh, big horns. That's what they are. That's what I was trying to think of. The, the Maxis big horns. Or knockoffs of those but they are amazing i really like them because you can see they stay tucked in so i don't need the the fender flares um and i like it because my my width is is the same width as the body now i don't have four or five inches of tire sticking out making my footprint so much wider uh so it's a lot easier to get in and out of the woods with but uh this is amazing it is it's it tickles me to death the way this little thing goes. 
I just did this to try to see how far it would go and it just kept going and it just kept going. And then uh, I didn't have any problems till I got here to the steepest part and then it was kind of too late to turn back. So I just had to, had to give it the beans and uh but it made it so surprised but this is part two and everything is good if y'all want to know anything about it just hit me up on the comments and uh, i'll get back with you thanks